In this video, we are going to look up how to set up the My Bible app so that we can use the Greek and Hebrew text with My Bible. In some previous videos, I did an overview of the My Bible app and a how to install and load modules with the My Bible app. You can find links to those two videos at cox-net.com slash my Bible. Again, as with the installation and loading of modules video, to load the modules for Greek and Hebrew, we will need internet. But after we have those modules loaded, you will be able to use the My Bible app with Greek and Hebrew without using internet. In the My Bible app, there are many different Greek and Hebrew modules. These are the ones that I'm going to suggest that you load to use. To load these, we'll start here and we'll tap on these three vertical dots. And then we'll go here to our modules. In another video, I showed how to download modules with the My Bible app and so you can review that video. I will try to move a little bit quickly here so we can get these modules loaded and look at using the Greek and Hebrew. So let's get the SBL font here in bundles. Scroll down, find SBL. Okay, there's SBL selected. Now let's get the um, BDBT in our dictionaries. So here's our Brown, Driver, Briggs, and Thayers. And also while we're here in dictionaries, let's just get the, uh, let's also get the Strong Enhanced Dictionary right here. Good, and then in Original Bible Modules, Let's get the original two plus. And then we'll scroll down here to English Bibles. And then we'll scroll down here and let's get the WEB plus Bible. Now notice that there is a WEB Bible and there's a WEB plus. We specifically want the WEB plus. So we'll tap there. And then lastly, let's go down here to Hebrew Bible. So we'll scroll down to Hebrew Bible modules. And then we're gonna scroll down to the open scriptures. Hebrew Bible, the OSHB2, it's right here, and we'll tap here. Now you notice that when we tapped here, we jumped from 5 to 7. That's because the Open Scriptures Hebrew Bible also downloads another module for us. Now that we have all these modules downloaded, we can come and tap here to download. And you'll notice it's going to ask for this confirmation. If you're using My Bible in simplified mode, it's going to ask if you want to turn on full mode. And yes, we do want to turn on full mode. So we're just going to go ahead and click on download to do that. If you're already in full mode, you won't get this notice. So we'll tap on download. And again, we get to confirm that we're going to download seven modules and we will say download. Depending on your internet speed, it may take a while for these modules to be downloaded, and so you can just wait until they are all downloaded. Okay, once you have your Bible modules downloaded, you can come and tap on the arrow here. And that takes us back here to our, our main page. Now, if we come over here and we tap on the KJV, 
you'll see we have these additional modules. So let's look at the original 2 plus. And you'll notice that the Hebrew font is not the same font as what you would see if you were looking at um, a printed text of the Hebrew Bible, or perhaps if you were looking at a grammar, they use a different font. So let's set up our fonts so that what we see on our screen will be similar to what we would find in, in printed materials. So to do this, we're going to come over here to our three vertical dots, and we're going to press and hold our three vertical dots this time. And that's going to bring up some menus where we can configure how the screen displays. And you'll notice if we tap here on this left arrow, we can adjust our scale. If we tap again on the left arrow, we can adjust um, screen display. If we tap again on the left arrow, um, we can uh, adjust what we show. If we tap again, we come back to themes. So what we're going to do is we're going to auto-select some themes so that our, our fonts will come up in fonts that we're used to seeing in printed materials. So we'll tap here on auto-select. Okay, And then up here we can um, select the appearance theme by the language of a Bible or module. So if we'll come over here and we'll tap here on this plus right here. Then we'll come down and we'll select the, the Hebrew. And right now it's defaulted to My Bible Original. So tap here on My Bible Original. And we're going to come down and we're going to select the um, Hebrew SBL, or Society of Biblical Literature. And then we're going to come here to the plus again, tap there again. And we're going to choose original. And again, it defaulted to my Bible original. And we'll tap there again. And this time we're going to come down here. We're going to choose the Greek SBL. Okay, super. And then probably when you're, um, um, you load at the OSHB2, it probably automatically put this in right here. And so what we'll do is we'll just change this. We'll tap here on this um, Hebrew Frank. And we're going to change it to the Hebrew SBL just so all of our fonts will be matching. Okay, so now that should have set up all of our fonts. And if we come back here and we tap the back arrow, you'll notice that, that our, our font here is similar to what you would see in a printed text of the um, Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh. And if we click here, we can jump to the New Testament. So let's jump to Matthew. We'll go to chapter 1, verse 1. And you'll also see that we have a, um, a beautiful looking um, Greek font also. Let's just go back to our um, Genesis, our Hebrew text. And if we come and if we pick one of these words here, let's say we pick Elohim, and we double tap the word, um, you'll see that it, it pulls up the, the dictionary definition down here, and, and we can look at that. But you'll notice that our font down here is the same block type font. So if we want to have that font be in the nicer font, that's easy enough to, uh, to adjust. And so let's also adjust this so that all of our um, Hebrew and Greek fonts are in our, our nicer looking font. So I'm just going to close this while we make this adjustment. And this adjustment, a little more complicated, but not too difficult. So we'll tap our three vertical dots. We'll uh, come down here to settings. Okay, and then we're going to look for right here where it says all settings. We're going to tap there. 
and get our display settings. And then here in our display settings, we're going to select this um, edit appearance theme. So we will tap right here on this edit appearance theme, select edits appearance theme. And then you notice it defaulted to this Greek SBL. So let's change this to our uh, My Bible Original. And you may have to scroll up or down to find the My Bible Original. So we'll select the My Bible Original. So now we're going to be editing the My Bible Original. And you can tap here. Right now it's already two windows and balloons. But if you tap there, you'll see a whole list of different adjustments that you can make. And we'll choose the Windows and Balloon adjustment. And then right here, right now, it's set to Droid Sans. And so let's just change that. So we'll, we'll tap here at the Droid Sans. And depending on how many fonts you have on your phone, you may have to scroll down a little bit. But what you're going to be looking for is the um, this SBL B Lit. And so just tap there on SBL B Lit. Okay, and that's now set as our as our font for our windows and balloons. So now we can just tap here on this X. And don't worry that these fonts are have gone back to the block. That will correct once we close this. Okay, so now if we go back here to Elohim and we double tap Elohim, you'll notice that down in our definitions, we now have the 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 nice the nice font. So let's close this window here, our definitions for now. And anytime we have a Bible up here that has the plus on it, so right now we have the original two plus. If I double tap on this original two plus it brings in the Strong's numbers now come in with the words. So we can see which of our Hebrew words corresponds to the Strong's number. So just as we were able to double tap the word, we'll now also, also be able to double tap the Strong's numbers to get the definition. So let me just double tap this 430. And you'll, I double tap the 430, and you'll see that it, it brought up the definition um, down here. Now, with this definition, we can click right here on the dictionary, and we'll notice that it's the Brown Driver Briggs Thayer, but we can change to a different dictionary by tapping right here. So let's look at it in the Strong's Enhanced, so I can tap there. And now we're looking at it in the Strong Enhanced Dictionary. And it, it just gives you some different information um, about the word. And we can scroll up and down on that information. You also have, again, if I tap here, um, you have just the regular Strong's. And so you can tap here and look at the information that's in the, um, the regular Strong's Dictionary. So you can look at all your different dictionaries here. So let me switch us back to the um, Brown Driver Briggs Dictionary. It's a fairly good dictionary. Now, we also can look at morphologies. So let me close here. Um, and it's important to note that the morphologies in the New Testament is only in the original 2 plus and in the Old Testament, it's only in the OSHB 2 plus. So those are the only two um, Bibles that have the morphologies. So let's switch over from the original two, since we're looking at the Hebrew, the Old Testament. And let's switch over to the OSHB 2. Okay. And you'll notice that we still have the strong numbers, but we don't have the, the morphologies. 
So in order to get the morphologies, and we have to make one more adjustment to our settings. So if we come over here, we tap our three vertical dots. We come here to our settings. And now we're on display already. If we weren't on display, you'd have to tap here and then come back and tap display. So now under display, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and what you're looking for is your you're looking for this area that says for Strong's number show. And so you want to find where it says morphology and you're just going to tap there where it says morphology. Okay, and now, now we can go back. In addition to the Strong's number, we now have the morphology of the word. And so if we come back here and we look at our word Elohim, um, we have this alphabet soup of the morphology. Now we can come here and we can double tap the 430. And then that will tell us what this morphology is, along with giving us the, the definition there. Now, if we um, double tap a word here, so if we come up here and we double tap the word, that will not pull the morphology down here. So if we want the morphology, we specifically have to double tap the Strong's number to get the morphology. And then again, to go back to our text, we can just click the X. We can double tap up here to turn off our Strong's numbers. And now we're, we're just back to the Hebrew text. To check it in the Greek, we can tap here. We can switch to the ORG2. And remember the ORG2 does not have the morphologies in the Old Testament, but, th but it does in the New Testament. So let's just tap here. And in this case, let's go to John chapter 1, verse 1. And now if we come in again, we double tap here. Um, we pull up the Strong's number along with the morphology. And so here we have our Strong's number and then our morphology. And again, it's the same thing if we double click the Strong's number. Um, it will give us the, the alphabet soup. It will tell us what that alphabet soup is under the morphology. So there's how you can use the My Bible app with Greek and Hebrew. Hope you enjoyed.